I want to talk about the uh, fake and performative aspect of GOP politics. Uh, this is a couple of things kind of started this for me. One was Donald Trump and the uh, House Speaker Mike Johnson, who are planning to push for a bill to ban non-citizens from voting in U.S. elections. This is the, the latest step by Republicans to falsely claim that migrants are, are coming to the country and, and casting ballots. Now, I speak as a, an immigrant, albeit a, a legal immigrant, and I just want you to know that I cannot vote in U.S. elections. I, I have to wait for six years after I receive my permanent residency. So I have, you know, several years to go before I can even apply for U.S. citizenship. And only once do I apply and then get approved for U.S. citizenship and then go through the ceremony, pledge my allegiance to the United States, do I then get the chance to vote. It's not an easy process. It takes an awfully long time. And if you are a uh, an asylum seeker and you don't have paperwork and you don't you know do it through the same channels as as I did, then it takes even longer. In fact, it might not even might not even happen at all. So just to be absolutely clear that again, this is a performative and, and fake announcement to try and push hatred towards um, immigrants. It's xenophobic, it's it's racist, it's all of those things. And it is just going some way to kind of continue this kind of systemic racism that, that seems to exist in the United States, often perpetrated by Republicans. You know, voting when a person is not eligible, um, somebody who's not a U.S. citizen, it's already illegal under federal law. And, and it's unclear whether this bill that, that Mike Johnson and the disgraced former president are discussing, but it is one more way for the former president to focus on election security and to, and to hit the Biden administration over the situation at the U.S.-Mexico border, which is something that, you know, the Republicans are turning into a, a, a crisis. And, and anybody who either lives down there or works for the immigration services and, and is, is there, they don't talk about it like it's a crisis. In fact, more migrants have been arrested and deported under Joe Biden's presidency than Donald Trump. And, and, and Donald Trump can only claim success uh, for his border policy because of COVID, which effectively stopped anybody from coming to the border because countries were locked down. It's so interesting, isn't it, how the performative aspect of Republican politics is all about creating chaos and drama, and it's an emergency, and we've got to deal with this. And despite the fact that the Republicans were involved in a bipartisan bill to uh, deal with the border, to throw a record amount of money at the border. In fact, everything Republicans asked for, Democrats said, fine, have it. And Donald Trump vetoed it and basically admitted that he didn't want anything done at the border under Joe Biden's premiership because he just wanted to make Biden look bad. I mean, that, that's the double standard and the hypocrisy of Donald Trump is that it's still performative. So the complaints about the border are performative when there's a bill that deals with everything, where, where every aspect of, of what Republicans wanted w was offered and they still refuse to sign it off because it doesn't play well into the theatrical aspect of their politics. And like with other claims that Trump makes about the 2020 election being stolen, the talking point about migrant voting does simply not have any facts to back it up. And this this kind of continues. I want to talk about this, this Chick-fil-A drama, this um, event that Donald Trump was on his way back from a, a fundraiser and he, you know, by chance stops by a Chick-fil-A. Making a lot of money. Everyone can get rich, right? <laughs> Thank you very much. It is. It's a great franchise. The owner is a great man who is a member of one of my clubs, and he's fantastic. And, uh, yeah, they do very well. They're closed on Sunday. It's the Lord's Chicken. That's the Lord's Chicken. You're right. It's good chicken, too. Yeah, good to see you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. 
Hello, everybody. Get ready for a milkshake. You got plenty of it. Right. <laughs> then there's a video of a Trump supporter who who hugs him and 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 shouted out support during this you know visit in Atlanta. Well, you know, this person turned out to be a Republican operative. This person wasn't a random person having some snacks in Chick-fil-A and the president, the former president, just shows up. This person w- was a plant, was planted there. It's a production. Nothing about Donald Trump or his campaign is, is genuine. All of these events are, are staged. I do. I put canvases together, so all these HBCU students that yeah. you see here, oh. I brought them here to meet you, Mr. President. Thank you very yes, much. Yes, we've also knocked doors for you in the past for your past you re-election have. bid and when you ran the first time. Wow. Yes. I was interning for the GAGOP at that time. Yeah. So, yeah. Wow. Doing a lot for your tax credit reform bill and everything like that. Come here, oh, let wow. me give you a hug. Please <laughs> That's really nice. It's designed for photo opportunities. It's designed for social media. And it's very clever. Look, I'm not denying that there is skill in this style of electioneering. But what it does is it it builds up this case that Trump is popular when he is not. You know, there there is a core base of of cult members who are in the in the, the cult of Trump. But in terms of like people randomly you know, wanting to celebrate him and him wanting to hug this woman at this thing. It was all a an op. It was a it was a setup. And and this woman who he I don't know if you've noticed, whenever he hugs women, he does this weird thing where he pats them on the back like I don't know, like men at a ball game or something. A really weird way to kind of treat women to do this like smacking on the back but I've seen him do it so many times and he did it again he's personally requesting me let's go that's good beautiful yeah can my friend Dom do one too this is she's fundraising come on in come on in come on in we're gonna get rid of Biden yeah President in the history of the United States, and he's horrible to the black community. Whether you like it or not, he Been that way the black a senator. community bad. And check out his record in the 1990s. Mm-hmm. Check out his record in the 1990s. You're economically much worse. Mm. They posted it. He put it on Truth Social. Thank you. Together we will make America great again. And posted this Fox News clip of this woman. She didn't mention in the interview with Fox who she really is. Michaela Montgomery, a former intern at the Republican Party of Georgia and and somebody who is and now considers themselves to be a political consultant. According to her bio, Montgomery worked for Blexit, which was founded by Candace Owens to recruit black voters into voting for Trump and joining the Republican Party. Candace Owens now disgraced herself. And Blexit is controlled by Turning Point USA and Charlie Kirk. I mean, the whole thing is a is a setup. And this group of people that we just met is unbelievable. Yeah. That young lady was unbelievable. Yeah. And that's the sad thing is that, you know, I, I talk to people, I meet people, and they are, are suggesting that Donald Trump really does care. And I'm like, no, of course he doesn't. The whole thing is a show. It's just an extension of, of, of The Apprentice. It's like he's still playing the role. How is it that some people have like a radar for what is authentic and other people are just will just like buy into anything? I've done more for the people of Atlanta than any other president by far. I've done more for the black community than any other president since Abraham Lincoln and maybe including Abraham Lincoln, frankly, but since Abraham Lincoln. And uh, it looks like our polling is very good in the state of Georgia overall. So we're very happy about it. But we've had, you see the support. It's been really something special. Unless you are in Donald Trump's image, unless you are a, a white, wealthy man, you really will not benefit from a future Donald Trump presidency. And that is the, the sad part of this story, is that he doesn't care for this woman. 
He doesn't care for anybody that he does these staged events with. He doesn't care for migrants or people of color. He, he is only interested in himself and other white, wealthy men who can enrich him. That is it. Those are the people he hangs out with. Those are the people that he feels comfortable around. Anybody else, including all those people wearing red MAGA hats who, you know, pay to go to these rallies, he just does not care for them. He is so niche, so narrow, and so narrow-minded. And, and, and that's what we need to remember and not fall for these staged events that are performative, you know, they have high production value, you know, they have organizers who make sure that everyone's there and the cameras are ready for when Trump shows up, you know, landing the plane and doing speeches in front of Trump Force One. I mean, the whole thing, it's disgusting. And yet, people seem to buy into it. Let me give you a hug. <laughs> I'm Anthony Davis. You can hear me on the 5-Minute News podcast. Support me on the 5-Minute News YouTube channel, also at patreon.com slash 5-Minute News. You can hear me on Wednesdays co-hosting Uncovered and on Sunday on The Weekend Show with Midas Touch. Eat stress-free this spring with Factors delicious ready-to-eat meals. Every fresh, never-frozen meal is chef-crafted, dietitian approved and ready to eat in just two minutes. Choose from a weekly menu of 35 options, including popular dishes like Calorie Smart, Keto, Protein Plus or Vegan and Veggie. Also, discover more than 60 add-ons every week like breakfast, on-the-go lunch, snacks and beverages to help you stay fueled and feel good all day long. What are you waiting for? Get started today and fuel up for your springtime goals. Head to factormeals.com slash 5minute50 and use code 5minute50 to get 50% off your first box plus 20% off your next box. That's code 5minute50 at factormeals.com slash 5minute50 to get 50% off your first box plus 20% off your next box.